On a hospital bed lays this young Kurdish fighter, wounded from battle. Yet all he can think about is returning to defend his hometown of Kobani. Abdurrahman is 23 years old. He and his sister are fighters for the PYD, a Syrian-based Kurdish rebel group linked to the PKK. They've been at the forefront of the battle to save Kobani from falling to ISIL. We were manning our post when four ISIL fighters attacked us in the middle of the night. We managed to kill three of them, but I got injured during the fight. Abdurrahman shows me his injury. He considers himself lucky to still be alive. As notorious as ISIL have become, there are conflicting reports about their numbers, weaponry and where their fighters come from. Abdurrahman described to me who and what his comrades were up against. ISIL has so many fighters from different countries, mostly from North Africa like Algeria and Morocco. One of those who we captured was Moroccan. They have lots of heavy weapons like tanks and artillery. In this private hospital in Diyarbakir, there are several other fighters being treated. They refused to tell us who was paying for their treatment, but local sources told us it was most likely the PKK. Barely old enough to graduate from high school, 17-year-old Fethi is another one of those injured in the battle for Kobani. I saw fighters were 10 meters away from us. Suddenly I got shot at that moment. I was alone, my friends were not near me. I promised not to let them capture me. If they got closer to me, I was ready to blow myself up. I asked him if he was scared. Yes, to be honest, I was scared when I was shot, but my belief in the resistance and the solidarity shown by my friends made me stronger. I wanted to keep fighting to protect my homeland from the foreigners and to take revenge, because many of our people have been killed. On another bed sits Ahmed, a young Kurd from northern Iraq. He had travelled to Kobani because he says it is his duty to defend the Kurdish nation. ISIL is abusing and hijacking Islam for their actions, but this is not Islam, we are Muslim too. They captured our friends and beheaded them, but our faith remains strong. Till now, Ankara has refused to send in ground troops to Kobani, and even though some of Turkey's Kurds continue to demand that it does, these fighters say they don't want the Turkish army to intervene. What they lack in weaponry, it seems, they make up in conviction. Jamal al-Shayyal. الجزيرة ديار باكر